guys, welcome back to my channel and for those that are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Leah and I am doing an O-Buy in 2022. I know. Uh, you might be wondering why. So I thought I'd break the video down, talk about four different things basically. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the overview of, of sort of why I've come to this decision. Um, then I'm going to talk about the rules that I've put in place. Then I'm going to give you the, um, the, the, the how. How am I going to do this? And the outcomes that I expect. So that's where we're going with this video. So I will put timestamps in, in just to make it easier so you can find your place again. I don't think this is going to be a long one. Fingers crossed. I know what I'm like for talking. But hopefully I'll get there. Um, I'm not going to lie. I've started this video a number of times and there's been a number of interruptions and also a number of stammers. So this is going to be a difficult one but hopefully we'll get there and um, it's currently snowing where I am so if you can see weird things going on it's snowing in either window so I thought I'd get that out of the way and I might get distracted because I'm easily distracted ADD brain happens okay so I decided in my update I'll link the video um, where I say about this that I wanted to do a no buy in 2022 I had up until the 31st of December to make all my purchases that I wanted and that included old palettes, it included old makeup that I might have wanted to try. So I, I bought everything essentially. I spoilt myself rotten for Christmas and I don't have any regrets. I'm really happy that I did. Anyway, so I bought all this stuff, I've done a haul, I've got the last thing that I wanted was the Pat McGrath uh, Bridgerton collection. I've got the whole collection, it will be with me um hopefully soon fingers crossed you know what they're like for shipping so that's the last thing that's coming and a replacement for an eyeshadow palette that was broken that arrived so you'll see those hauls there is actually a, a pat mcgrath haul coming up um because i haven't done it yet because i've been waiting for this replacement and then you will also see the the next one so there's a lot coming up on my channel but i wanted to talk about this specifically because i feel like it's important that i set out the reasons why i'm doing this I have a lot of makeup and I'm moving home. Fingers crossed I'm moving home. Um, hopefully by the end of this month. There's been some issues and I'll talk about that another time. But if we move home by the end of this month, uh, I want to make sure that I am budgeting carefully. I'm seeing where my money goes. I'm saving some for some big things. We're going away to Florida. We're getting married in a couple of years. Uh, we need to have a honeymoon, all of these things. And I want to avoid debt as much as possible. I've got myself into debt before and I wanna make sure that I don't get myself into debt again. So I want to start being a bit more conscious about my spending. Um, if you go to my other channel, which is always linked below, my channel with my partner, we're doing more of a conscious living effort. So we're consciously living in terms of how we eat. We're consciously living in terms of how we budget, in how we exercise. We're doing all of these things realistically. And that's where I want to get to. And the reason I want to do this is that I find the that, that YouTube and people on YouTube um, can be quite unrealistic. And I want this to be an, a place where real, um, real life is completely acceptable. And that includes makeup. And I think I have an obscene amount of makeup. And I don't think, I know I have. Nobody needs as much as I've got. I enjoy it, so that's fine. And I know a lot of people will watch YouTube and they'll get excited. And there is nothing like that rush of seeing the most beautiful shimmery palettes or whatever it might be and rushing out and buying it. It's lovely. It's a lovely feeling. But I just think there's a lot of over-consumerism. Uh, however, that's personal for me. Uh, I personally think I've over-consumed. Um, buy what you like. If you want to buy all of the palettes, do it. It really doesn't bother me. But in my life, I want to have a little bit more of a realistic view of what I use, what I do, what I enjoy, what I, you know, it's all about um, 
having being more conscious and in the moment etc etc so that's why i'm doing it i want to see if i can know by through a whole year um i stopped my spending on the 31st of december and it genuinely was i got everything a little bit after that and that was the last time that i bought anything i made that a point that i wouldn't buy any more makeup um there are some rules so let's get into those the rules surrounding this um the reason i make uh, and making some rules is i watched a video by hannah louise poston i wanted to give her a shout out here because this video was excellent and she said the number one thing when it comes to a no buy is give yourself clear and very precise rules that have no ambiguity so that you can stick to them and if you stick to them you will do your no buy make them realistic and make make them so that you're not giving yourself complete inflexibility but don't give yourself flexibility to the point that you're going to overspend so there's she was really really clear um i will link her video and i'll also link her channel because it was really good so my rules Number one is that I can buy replacements. Now that can be either the same product or it can be like for like, or it can even be a new product as long as it's replacing the old one. But if I don't like that product, I have to still use it. So I've got to be really clear that I enjoy the product before I buy it. So for example, it will be things like mascara. I run out of that all the time. Um, so I can buy a new formula. If I hate it, I still have to use it. Um, and it's best to just get it out of the way. At least I won't be buying it again. Or I could buy a formula that's tried and trusted. That's up to me. But I can replace any product that runs out. That can be anything from skincare to hair care to mascara to foundation to lipstick, whatever. If I literally run out of it and there's nothing left, I'm allowed to replace that. Um... The only thing that it wouldn't be is something like a blush or eyeshadow, unless it's a colour that literally runs out and you can buy it in a single. It's not going to happen though, is it really? Let's be honest. I am allowed to use gift cards or points to purchase things if I have them. So if I have gift cards or points, I'm allowed to use those. Because, um, for example, I know that I'm getting a gift card for my birthday from work. So um, I get a gift card. I don't have to spend it straight away. I can wait until I'm ready to buy something, uh, but I'm allowed to do that because it isn't money that I have spent myself. Um, that is absolutely allowed. And any points that I've racked up in the f uh, previous years. I'm also allowed to ask for things as gifts if it's my birthday or Christmas so Christmas will be included here so I can ask them for Christmas um, which is absolutely fine I think that's allowed if there's something I really 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 want so I'm allowed to do that um, but not take the mick obviously I can't just like in February go oh, I really want that can you buy it for me for Christmas knowing full well they're gonna buy me a new one so yeah that's uh allowed i also would go as far to put the rule that i can ask for a gift instead of an easter egg so like i said i don't want an easter egg could you buy me this if you are willing to from a partner you know not everybody has that um opportunity so if that's a no then, then it's a no so the final thing <laughs> the final rule um, I want to make this as realistic as possible. I'm not accepting PR. So I've just hit over 4,000 subscribers on YouTube. So thank you very much. Um, I have a goal of getting to 5,000. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be offered PR. But if I did get offered PR at any point, uh, I'm going to say no. I'm going to turn it down because that isn't what happens in the real world. We spend our hard-earned money on the things that we want. So... I'm going to do that and also it puts pressure on me to put a video out about something that I might not like um, so I've decided not to accept PR in any way so that is the rules hmm I think they're pretty good I think I've been quite clear and I think I've given myself the scope that means that I'm allowed to buy stuff if I have to 
but I've also put in the place that I can't buy new things um, and I think that's fair I think that's fair okay how am I going to do this so uh, providing content for YouTube is going to be so easy by using the stuff that I already have so the first thing I want to do is challenge myself to use the makeup I have to create looks so I never used to create looks um, well I did create looks on my channel and then I stopped and I did a lot of hauls but it's very easy because I'm putting makeup on my face already to just use makeup and talk about it so anything that's new that I've got recently I'm going to do first impressions so absolutely everything that I've got I'm going to do first impressions and that means there is a lot of things I can talk about but there's also videos I can do where um, I can do a full face of the new makeup I've got. So there are, there's a lot of scope for content out of this stuff that I, I bought. There's another thing that I spoke about and I asked over on a poll on my community tab um, saying, would you like me to use old stuff and what's the name that I could give it? And I went, I gave some choices and what we came up with was the uh, makeup slash palettes that time forgot. And I have so much that is still around and I bet people still have. Uh, and I think it's just a really lovely nostalgic blast from the past using certain products and reviewing certain products that were from up to 10 years ago maybe. So I think that's gonna be fun. Uh, I'm actually really excited because every time I go to pull something out, there's, there's stuff that I still genuinely use and I genuinely love and I wanna show you, I wanna talk about it. So let's do that, let's have a, I, I think I'd really enjoy seeing somebody put something that was out ages ago on YouTube and was all the rage. I think I'd like to see that again and just see the joy. Um, so that's what I'm doing. So that's one of the things that will help me do that. I'm going to shop my stash, but I'm not going to do like a weekly shop that my stash, which I love, but I also have been watching Lauren May Beauty and she's been doing it in a very different way. So it might be shop my stash, old products, shop my stash, new products, shop my stash, certain colours, shop my stash, products I hate, products I've never used, products I've, uh, I always use. Like it's really... Um, the possibilities are endless, I think. So I'm very excited to do shop my stashes. And I feel like that's a really lovely video because you get to see people's collections. And I'm nosy. And then I also want to do... Um, so instead of new releases, and I love those videos, they, they teach me so much about what's coming up. Uh, but I don't want to create that content because I don't want to be tempted to buy it. Instead of new releases, I'm going to see the new releases and decide what it is that I would have bought if I was buying it, recreating, the, and it's usually palettes, recreating or finding shades in my current collection that will replicate those and creating looks. So one, I want to show um, how to create that, uh, that, that um, palette or that colour story. Uh, with stuff that I already have and then I want to create looks with it that they may have shown on their Instagram or new looks um, and and hopefully that will give inspiration to people that are buying the palette so or are buying that brand or are buying that makeup so I feel like that's a really interesting take on the new releases but it's using the stuff I already have and actually it gets me using my makeup more so of course that's going to be fun so again, I've taken inspiration from Laura May Beauty because she made, um, she's done this a few times, but she took her Natasha Denona palette, she took all of the eyeshadows out and then she recreated the Charlotte Tilbury quads. I thought that was an excellent idea. Brilliant idea. I loved watching it and I thought that was just inspiring. I thought that's so clever. I've got so much makeup. Why not utilise it? I think I do have every colour pretty sure of it so 
I think we're going to have fun here. I think it's going to be really interesting. I mean, a peach, or, you know, that might be a shade darker or lighter on the eye, if you blend it out, it's going to look very, very similar. And looks are going to be similar. So it might be that you see like a green and orange look and you think, oh, that looks really nice. But you might have a different green and orange. But overall, that's going to look the same. Do you see what I mean? So I feel like there's nothing wrong with... Uh, recreating things that are inspired by something else uh, very similar to how Lauren May Beauty I'm sorry I've mentioned her a lot but I honestly I'm so inspired by her channel um, she did uh, a she did a recreation of a look um, that was inspired by the new Bridgerton palette by Pat McGrath and I was just like this is such an excellent idea and she did that it served a purpose for her because she was so intrigued by that palette she was ready to pick it up on the 26th but it almost quenched that desire to buy it because she'd already created the look and whilst it was pretty she was like I'm probably not going to do that again so I don't need this palette and I thought this is genius this is genius um so that's where it's going to go that's how I'm going to do it um, and the final thing is, I am already doing a Project 10 pan. So I'm using stuff up. That's what I'm doing as well. I want to move makeup out. I actually want to get joy. And I also want to make sure that I review things thoroughly because I've used them. I love showing empties. Um, I know people are sort of over them. But I love those videos because I find the... Um, the amount of products that are used when you use something time and time again and you're able to review something and you're able to and even sometimes you might use something you might buy it again and the formulas changed and you just notice it's brilliant for stuff like that because you're not going to waste your money um, and and also people will be able to know maybe they won't waste their money in the future so i'm really excited about that i'm really excited about those uh, that content and that realistic um, way of using the stuff that we already have. So, outcomes. So, what I'm going to do is I want to log all of the savings that I'm making by not buying the makeup. So, I'm going to do that. I'm also logging how much money I have spent on the things that are finished. So it shows you how much, so already I finished some products last month and it was over a hundred pounds worth of products that was finished. And I loved that, I loved seeing that tally up. It's quite, it's quite fun knowing that I've used that actual stuff and not wasted anything. So that feels really good. And then I'm also going to be tallying up um, the budgets that I have and I'm gonna be talking about um, how I'm budgeting for things. So although, I am allowing myself to buy replacements. I'm still budgeting for those. So I was going to do some cash stuffing videos on this channel, but I'm actually, because it's more of a lifestyle thing, I'm taking it over to my other channel. But I am going to do some shorts on the actual makeup and beauty side of it. So I'll do that as smaller videos, just that they're not completely distant to what I do in my, my longer videos. And that's the outcome. I just want to see visually what that looks like for me, how much I'm, and, and all that saving could go somewhere else. Um, Michaela, who is a really good friend of mine here on YouTube, she did a video about no buys and she said that she either takes the cash out and puts it somewhere or she puts it in another account, the money that she would have spent on something and she puts it somewhere else and at the end of the year she just sees this pot of money that she didn't spend and she could either use it on the stuff that she wants or she can use it on something bigger that she really, really wants or she can use it for anything else, basically. So that's so exciting. I think that when you've got something visual in front of you, it's going to just make it a lot easier to get through this no buy. What will I do if I mess up and I buy something? I think I'm just going to have to take it on the chin. I, I'm going to have to allow myself. I don't want to feel like a failure. This is realistic. Um, but I think I can do it. I really do. I don't th think that this is going to be too much of a hardship. I've got more makeup than anybody could really ever dream of. And even then, I haven't got the most amount of makeup compared to other people. Like, I've genuinely got two concealers um, and one eyebrow product. Like that That's unheard of. 
but that's because I did whittle it down and I decided that that was what I did condense it down. My biggest issue is eyeshadow palettes, but I honestly think now I've got them all. I've got everything I need. I may do an inventory again. Um, I did one last year. It was a bit different, but once we move, I think it's best if I do another inventory. Uh, inventory, inventory. Uh, how do you say that word? Invent, invent, inventory. You know what I'm talking about. I'm just going to show you what I got uh, in terms of palettes. I'm not going to declutter any. I'm just going to keep them because just in case. Um, I might declutter at the end of the year when I've done the no buy. So that will be interesting. But at this point, I won't do. Right, so that's it. Thank you so much for joining me. I would love if you're on the same journey or if you're interested in following my journey or if you're on a low buy or something similar for you to comment. Let's get a community together because I feel like if it... Do you know what? It'd be easier if we start doing these things together. I do know that a couple of my friends have started this. I'm very excited to be doing this with them. But let's build that community. Um, and it doesn't matter where you are in the world. You can be in the UK, the US, Australia, wherever you want. It would be really nice to, you know, get a lovely community on the internet to do this. Um, if this doesn't interest you, then that's absolutely fine. But maybe some of the content will be good in terms of the tutorials. Uh, or And when I say tutorials, I mean from somebody who's not a beauty guru. Uh, um, but if, you know, let me know down below what you think of this idea. I, I want to know, you guys in my community. I have stopped thinking about numbers particularly. Like I say, I did want to get to 5,000 subscribers, but it's not the be-all, end-all. Um... But yeah, I would like to not focus on numbers including views. I'm just going to do the videos as I like and as I see them. And as I said in my update, videos will go up when I feel like it more than likely. However, I bet you I do get into a routine. But that's fine. I'm not going to set that out now. I'm just going to do what I want. So... Thanks so much for joining me. I know this has been a really long video and I apologise. It's actually making my throat really dry to talk this much. <laughs> I have absolutely loved coming up with this and I can't wait to bring you on this journey. As usual, give it a thumbs up if you've got this far and you've enjoyed the video. If you haven't enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs down. However, you have got this far so it doesn't really matter. And subscribe if you want to. Don't do it if you don't want to. I'm absolutely fine with that. But if you do, I would love it. It would be amazing. I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.